Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, Making an EVA Foam Drum Gun Part 1, you saw us build the whole thing from the back of the stock up to the drum and we started the barrel. Super easy stuff. Um, which brings us up to now. In this episode, Making an EVA Foam Drum Gun Part 2, we're gonna finish off this whole front end assembly, which is totally easy and super cool. And we're going to drill in and we're gonna get it in here and we're gonna complete our crazy drum gun build. And then we're gonna seal it and paint it. Um, easy paint job. We're gonna get it mostly black and we're gonna come in with some grays and oxidize the black a little bit. And then come in with this sweet, sweet, awesome wood grain. Really easy technique. Um, so if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, so we've got our barrel, and what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be doing some of the stuff that's gonna go on the end of the barrel. And so what we have here is a four millimeter piece of foam, and we have a couple 18 millimeters, all right? So we're going to cut these 18 millimeters out on the scroll saw real quick. right on the top like that. So we got the curved cut at the bottom. That's gonna stick right on there like that. Wow. All right, look at that. Cool. That is. We know we're gonna have a dead center mark now by using our circle guide. there. All right. Now, as you can tell, this is a truncated cone. It's a cone. And the way you figure that out is you can go to many different programs online and that will give you the formula for a truncated cone. So all you have to do is give it the diameter of the smallest side of it and the diameter of the largest side of it and the height and it will calculate and give you the pattern. So that's what I did. Um, and there we go. We just want to get a curl to it. All right, there we go, a slight curl. And we're just gonna get the edge wet. Now we're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna let this glue set up real nice. Then we're gonna heat up the edges and it's gonna loosen it and round it back out. And it's, notice how it's got a slight taper. We gave it the diameter of the top Actually, the diameter of the top, the diameter of the bottom, and the height. And the truncated cone calculator figures it out for you and gives you the slightly curved pattern. Nice. All right, here we go. We've got two, three, four, and six millimeter. We're going to make little strips that we're going to wrap around our barrel. So we're going to do a test measurement with each thickness. Okay, here we go. We've got our marks right here, 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 and here. So we know how long these are going to need to be. And then come down and go right through our mark on this side. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut a slight bevel on one end like we always do. All right, we've got all of our marks made. And we're going to start with the thickest wraps toward the back. And we're and we're going to anchor it just like that. And wrap it around. Squeeze it down. We're going to hold it while it bonds. That easy. We just, now we're just going to do it all the way down the barrel. 
two, three, four, and six millimeter. So they gradually get a little bit higher. Nice. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to be able to now come in and stick this on the end of here like that, which is totally cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up with the heat gun. We want to stay away from the seam. We just want to hit the sides over here and over here, which will help it loosen up. Squeeze it together like that, just so that we've got round on this end and round on the other end. All right, there we go. Nice and centered. All right, now we're going to begin to drill the hole for our barrel to go into our body. So we're going to do a pilot hole first. There's our mark right there. Then we're going to come in. We want it to be snug. All right, we're going to come in now with with a thicker drill bit. Our final bit, pretty large. Really nice. All right. Coat our, our dowel with cement. All right, here we go. Now we're going to spin this around because we want to get All right, there we go. All right, look at that. Wow, man. Crazy. Crazy. Now what we did is you saw us put wet cement in here. We didn't wait for any cement to dry because this is the wet cement technique where you get the dowel wet and you spin it around as you're going in and it coats the inside of the cavity and then what's going to happen is after a few minutes the moisture content inside the contact cement is going to dry, it's going to evaporate and the two pieces of cement are going to stick together. So we're in good shape. Um, all right. Okay, now we've got a couple little details for the top of our drum gun. We're going to take these two little two millimeter pieces and we're going to cut the windows out and then stick them down to this piece. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Perfect. We've got a square with round corners. And we're going to do All right, there we go. Now while those are drying, there we go. Perfect. All right, now these are ready. All right, just like that. Now. All right, see that? That's what we wanted. Now we're just gonna bring this other piece in and do the same thing. That's what we wanted. Use a foam squeegee to spread out all the super glue on there. Stick that down in there like that. Okay, now we're going to take this 12 millimeter and this 24 millimeter. We're going to stick them together. 
and we're going to cut it out on the scroll saw. This piece came back all this way, but we don't want it going back quite that far, so we thought maybe we'll shorten it to here, and then we ended up with here. Okay, so we're going to shorten this little piece right here. That's really sweet. All right, you know what it's time for now. It's time for Dremel in. We are going to shape this thing up a little bit. Actually, we're going to shape this thing up a lot. All right, we've got our dust mask on. We've got our Dremel ready. All right, there we go. Same exact thing we did when we shaped everything else on the piece. We just took our time, rounded off our corners, dug out some areas. Oh, oh man, is that cool. Fits great. Let's seal it. Shaped nicely. Wow. Really cool. All right. Let's clean up. All right. Now what we're going to do is this is going to come in and attach right here. But what we want to do is we want these two little pieces we cut. Look what we did. We cut these two little pieces out like that out of a four or five, actually probably a six millimeter piece of foam. And then look what we did. We cut the edge cut a circle cut there because what we want to do is we want to come in here in between these pieces on the barrel and we want to attach one there and we want to attach one there and we cut that curve so it meets up with the bottom of the barrel and then this will come up and attach right to those two pieces like that That's what hold them all right there we go we've got our two little supports in there and then a mark here there's one here and here all right all right there we go and then we're going to get a little bit on here there we go we've got our three places on our barrel and our three places on our handle Give it a couple minutes. All right, there we go. We stuck it back here and we stuck it to these two little supports there. Look at that. that. Put a little tiny puddle of super glue down there. Get the bottom of our rivet wet. We're going to come over here to the side, get it wet, come over to the side and put it right in the middle like that. Really cool. Look at that. Holy cow, man. A nice handle. We've got this cool body with all the little step downs, cool little details like this cut that we separated, a little rounded off button in here. We got this jam and drum with all the gadgets on there and the holes we poked through it. Shaped handles everywhere. We got the cool barrel assembly up here with the vent on the front of it. Man, this thing is insane. Look at that. Wow. All right, man. That uh, with that last little detail up here, that brings the build portion of our Fortnite drum gun to a close. All right, here we are at the spray stand. We're going to coat our drum gun with our Plastidip. You know what we always say, too, don't ever spray, even outside in a well-ventilated area, without your respirator.
really easy. You just take your time, put nice even coats down until you build up your an even layer around the whole piece, then go back over it with a second layer and just keep building it up till you feel like you have a pretty good solid layer around the whole piece. And uh, that's it. All right, we're out at the spray stand. We're gonna coat our drum gun with our satin black. Got a few good layers of our satin black on here. Look at that, pretty nice. It's not super shiny, but it's also not matte finish. It's kind of in between. Here's our wrought iron. Just like that. Okay, we're coming in. We're taking our wrought iron. We're hitting along the edges here and here some edges and then some random spots and what that's going to do is that just starts to give it that slightly oxidized feel all right and that's all we're going to do on the black we're going to go around the whole thing we're going to break it up with our raw iron just so that it's not solid black so that it looks like it's got oxidation all over the whole thing all right All right, we did it all along the side of the body, up around the barrel, the top, all along this side, see that? And we came around the drum, where we just added gray around some areas. We did it all around here on the front of the drum, and we did it on the back of the drum also. All right, now we're coming in with our real brown. We're going to take our painter's tape, we're going to cover right around that crease right there. That way when we come in, perfect, and perfect. On. Back. All right. All right, there we go. We've got everything coated on our wood handles, except a couple hidden areas that we can't reach with the sponge brush down in here and down in here. So we're gonna come in with a brush and we're gonna get inside here, really easy. Just like that, really simple. That's it. So we're just gonna fill in here and we're gonna fill in here. There's a little edge there, right there. See that down in there? We couldn't reach it with the sponge brush, so we're just going to come in with the edge of our brush. All right, that's it. Now we're just going to finish this little inner trench right here and we'll be all done. There's our whole stock. We just got down inside this little edge all the way around it and down in the front here. We've got our center handle done. We masked off just a little bit around the whole thing so we could tap it off. And then we've got the whole front grip done, which we just had to come into this little hidden area down in here with our brush. But check that out. We've got the, oxida the oxidization, is that the right word? Um, all over our black, which is perfect. Just enough to kind of change the tone a little bit, give it that oxidized look. And we Okay, now <clears throat> we came in with our wrought iron and we added some slight tone change here, but it's not quite enough. So what we're going to do is well, actually it might be okay, but we're going to come in and add just a little bit. So we're going to come in with our 
medium gray, a little bit of black, Okay, it's a little bit lighter than the than the oxidized tone we put on. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what we want. All right, there we go. Now we're in business. Let's get a little bit down here. Okay, so you dab it on and then you smooth it in. See that back there? There we go, that's what we want. All right, there we go. See that? We've got all this gray, lighter gray in here around all the edges. See that? We came in, we broke it up in here. We're breaking it up around the edges here. On the barrel, we did some spots. That's just enough. All right, we don't want to go any crazier than that. We just want it to have a slight tone change so it's not pitch black. All right, looking pretty good. Okay, we're going to come in with our brown. And we are going to mix it with our black because we want a really dark brown. Let's just start with a little bit. All right, there we go. Now we've got a really, really dark brown, which is... Just like that. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna do wide to pointy stripes, and we're gonna do a few of them. All right, then we can come in too and we can get some really thin. Really thin strokes. Like that. And that's part we wipe off on the paper towel just to get a softer all right there we go just like that so we come in with the solid stripes that we're making with the brush and then we dab a little bit and we wipe it on a piece of paper towel and we come in like this and we paint a much more subtle strip in there like that all right so it's just those really those two things which is not that tough. All right, there we go. That's all we're doing. Just like that. All right, then we're getting paint on our brush, getting most of it off on the paper towel, and then we're coming in and putting kind of softer, softer stripes. Okay, that's that's the trick right there. All right, there you go. Check that out, man. Look at the wood grain. Not bad. We came in, covered it in brown, came in and mixed the brown with some black and did some kind of thick, uh, thick to thin stripes going in different directions, just kind of random. And then we dipped in the same dark brown and wiped most of it off on the paper towel and came in and hit these more subtle ones here for these little like filler stripes. And uh, the oxidized gray all over here is looking pretty sweet. And uh, that's it, man. Let me slide these in to help this thing stand up. That is the whole thing right there. So with that last wood grain detail, that brings our Fortnite drum gun build to a close.
All right, there it was. You saw it. The front end was just as easy as the back end. Real easy stuff. Just take your time and you'll nail it. Um, and then you saw how we sealed it and painted it. Um, super easy paint job. You saw us spray it in black and then just kind of come in and stamp around with the gray to oxidize it a little bit. And then you saw that really simple detail we, uh, we used for uh, the wood grain. Real simple stuff, man. Painting stripes and then dry brushing some some other softer stripes, real easy stuff. Um, so easy wrapping the barrel, easy shaping the truncated nozzle, easy shaping everything. This was totally easy and an easy paint job and it looks sweet. Um, and that concludes making an EVA foam drum gun part two. Hope you liked it. If you did give us a like, share us with a friend and subscribe to this channel and together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.